Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to download photos from your iCloud. I'm going to be showing you two different methods, the iOS method and the MacBook method, so have one or both of these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go to iCloud.com on the web. So just use any browser that you prefer. You're just going to search iCloud. Once you're here, you're going to sign in. You'll either have to manually sign in with your email and password, or it's going to ask you to sign in with a passcode or face ID. Once you're signed in, it's going to bring up all of your iCloud information, including your photo library. So you're just going to scroll down and select your photo library. You're going to select the photo you wish to download. And once you're here, it's going to bring you to that photo with a bunch of different information. Um, in the top right corner, you'll find the three dots. When you click this, it's going to bring a drop down menu with a bunch of different options here. And you'll find the download option here. So you can either download this way just by clicking this. It's going to download this and it's going to ask if we want to download as an iCloud, as an iCloud photo.zip, which we do. So we'll download it like that. At the bottom of your screen where that iCloud URL is, you find a blue circle icon with an arrow. So when you click this, this is going to bring up your downloads here. You'll select downloads and this is where you can access that download here. So you'll click on that photo and it's going to bring you to your files. That's where it's saved there. However, if you wanted to download a different way, you'll go back in, select those three dots, and we're going to click more download options. Here we have three different options for downloading. We can download as an unmodified original. It's going to download it as it was originally captured um, or imported. Beneath this, we have the including edits option. So here it's going to be the highest resolution. And then beneath this, we have the most compatible option. So it's going to download as a JPEG or an MP4. It's going to go straight into our files folder. It's not going to go right to our photos immediately, but if we wanted to download it into our photos or save that photo to our camera roll, what we'll do, click on the iCloud photo that we just saved and that zip and it's going to open up the iCloud photo. So we'll click on that and then select the photo we want to download. And then in the bottom left corner, we'll, we'll click on that I, that square icon with the arrow. And here is where we can just scroll down and save that image to our camera roll. Now let's jump over to the MacBook and I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. Super stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks. And let's get back to the video. So on the Mac, it's almost identical to the iPhone method. So we're going to follow those same steps. We're going to open up our browser and we're going to search iCloud and then we're going to sign in. It's going to prompt us to manually sign in again or use our um, pass key. Once we're signed in, we're going to select our photos and then we're going to select the photo we wish to download. Once that photo is selected, the only difference with the MacBook method is you actually have the immediate download option in the top right corner. So instead of clicking these three dots, you can simply just download this way and it's going to download right to your computer. It's going to pop up right here as that iCloud photos.zip. And what you can do is open it up by clicking this icon here. Once it's open, we can move it to whatever location we want, we can save it to our photos just by going up to the top and clicking file. You can save it this way. You can also move it to wherever you want by clicking the downwards arrow here, whatever you want. You can go into your pictures, your documents, desktop. So usually what you see in your iCloud photos is going to be identical to what you have in your iPhone or MacBook photos. The chances of you having to download photos from your iCloud to save in to your iOS or MacBook camera roll are pretty slim. If your iCloud is connected or synced to your Apple devices, then you won't have any issues of having duplicates of all of your photos and videos on either your iCloud or your camera roll. But to check if your iCloud is synced and turned on, what you're going to do is going to go to up to the top left corner and click on your Apple icon. We'll go into our system settings. Then we're going to go up to the top into our Apple ID. And then we'll click on our iCloud and under apps using iCloud, we'll select our photos. Automatically, this is going to pop up here and it's going to give you the option if you haven't already to sync your MacBook to your iCloud. 
you'll just want to make sure that this toggle is turned on and if it's turned on it will be this yellow orange color here and then you'll just click done to save your changes. This is gonna ensure that any changes you make in your iCloud library on either device will be synced to your iCloud. So if you delete any photos or recover any photos, your iCloud is gonna save all of that information as well. But if for some reason you have this disconnected, then downloading from your iCloud might be of use to you. To check this on your iPhone, you're gonna open up your settings and you're gonna go back into your Apple ID at the top here. And then you're going to select your iCloud and your iCloud photos. And here is where you'll find the toggle to sync your iPhone as well. So if that toggle is on, then all of your photos and videos, like I said, will be synced to your iCloud. So any changes you make obviously are going to be the same on that account. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful and these methods worked for you. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.